When the United States invaded Iraq in 2003, the goal was to get rid of the Hussein regime uh, and create a new democracy there. Okay, as, uh, as General Norman Schwarzkopf put it, um, he said, I picked up vibes that you're going to have this massive strike with massive weaponry, and basically that's going to be it. We just clean up the battlefield after that. Uh, we call this the, the cliche shock and awe weaponry. Okay, well, uh, the planners uh, unleash their war in the following way. Consider this fact. In 1991, when they uh, fought Saddam Hussein in the, in the uh, <clears throat> Persian Gulf War, in the desert for the limited objective of ejecting him from Kuwait, they had twice as many ground troops to do that job as they will have in 2003 for the much more ambitious job of uh, decapitating the regime, getting rid of Saddam Hussein, and taking over the whole country. Just absorb that for a moment. How on earth can you possibly fulfill that mission with that small a number of troops? The hope was that you could bomb uh, with precision raids, and you know, is it ever really precision when ordnance comes from the air? Arguable, I suppose. Um, you could bomb uh, and decapitate the regime. Then you would have this maneuver war, mainly through the desert, bypassing the cities, uh, dashing for Baghdad, ultimately taking control of Baghdad uh, and either capturing or, or killing uh, Saddam and all of those disciples that he has that are in control. Okay, so this is the concept. The problem is 70% of the Iraqi population lives in cities at that point, 70%. Uh, there is really no possibility for controlling the country in any meaningful way unless you control the cities. And to control the cities, as I think maybe we all realize, means a lot of boots on the ground. And really, at that point, it negates your entire war-making concept because it's predicated on the firepower of shock and awe and the quickness of maneuver warfare. Well, just consider the traffic right outside this building. Uh, could you have slashing maneuver warfare right outside this building? How is this any different than a corner on Baghdad, uh, in Baghdad someplace, or Najaf, or Fallujah, or Karbala, or something? Really not that different. The buildings may look different, but it's the same concept, isn't it? Um, the deserts are the deserts. Desert wars tend to be not uh, conclusive because human beings don't really live in the desert. Okay, so if you're going to control the country, you're probably going to have to control the cities, and that's the essential rub of the problem. 